mission of there we go. Friday Night Live, Dave. Top cameras on you, man. All right. It's well, over here, so uh, all right. look at oh, the camera. There we are. That's yeah. me over there. We're new. All We're right. New at this. <laughs> Friday Night Flies. Dave cool. Keller. Tell uh, us so we'll leave this guy in here. Hey, so I'm Dave Keller. I'm with Backcountry Fishing Tours. We're a sturgeon fishing company out of Lillooet. Um, well, you guys, a lot you guys slam time. up there, don't you? Oh, yeah, it's slam. good times. Good we times. share a lot of pictures of Dave and his beautiful jet boat and bent rods, real screaming. That's a logo we use here on Pemmet Fish Finder. But uh, today, Dave, what are you tying? Uh, it's a booby fly. It's, I'm going to uh, take it down to the bottom camera there and let's have a quick okay. look at what you tie. Sure. And then you can roll the vice here. Okay, we're live on the bottom of the camera. So yeah, that's basic, basically it's like it's anything from a dragonfly nymph to a leech to um, any aquatic insect that's a little bigger. It's fished on a full sinking line and the foam eyes keep it afloat so that when you strip it actually pulls it down and then the, the foam eyes will bring it back up. Um, helps right. keep it off the bottom so you can fish a full sinking line in, uh, in shallow water and the line will just run through the weeds and this will usually keep it just up above that. Perfect. It's just a little bit of a different appearance than yeah. your typical fly. Yeah, it's totally wacky looking, but uh, it just swims with a really weird action. So even with crazy colors, they seem to really eat it up. And of course, on Friday Night Flies, we spice this fly up with a little bit of UV. <laughs> That's the way we do it here at Friday Night Flies. Anyhow, Dave, take it away, man. Let's uh, let's see you work your vice, buddy. Oh, let's see what we got here. So yeah, you just start with any old uh, kind of medium to long shank. So we're hook. on a Daiichi 8, size 8. And again, it can be tied in just about any any combination of colors. We're kind of using what we have in front of us here. Yeah. You can. <laughs> I'm like, you got to tie that on front of that flies right now. <laughs> we actually, there's a pair of scissors there too if you want to use them. Keep it rusty. See, Dave, he comes prepared. He pulls out his blade and he's dicing stuff, cutting foam so he can make the eyes and we'll get to that part here in a little yeah. bit. We'll put the eyes on next. We'll start with the tail. <coughs> so you want the tail, I typically with the long shank, I like to put my tail, tie it in so that the bend of the hook is actually hidden back in the tail. Helps when the fish bite short, you still stick them. So you're just taking, uh, you can use marabou, you're just using the bottom end of a schlapping feather, but uh, it's just anything fuzzy, something that'll make it look good. A little bit of movement in the water on retrieval or when you're trolling this fly. Makes a great locator pattern on those dead summer days. When nothing's biting, put on a booby. You know what they say about boobies? They definitely attract fish. <laughs> So you're putting out a little bit of chunk, of, a little chunk of flash there. Yeah, a little more attention I, to it. Hey, nothing like a little bit of jewelry hanging from a booby. <laughs> Never gets so. Old. For, so for the foam eyes. <laughs> Never gets old. Yeah, here. boob jokes will continue. <laughs> um, for the foam eyes, I just took a dink float here and uh, cut the end off of her into a couple of little pieces. Yeah, that's awesome. And, uh, Super easy. So yeah. buy yourself a dink float. <laughs> yeah, stick it right in between your boobies. Yeah, stick it between your boobies. Yeah, we're going over the top tonight. Sorry, viewers, but uh, hey, he's a new guy. We're, we're showing him the ropes tonight. And the whole point of putting that foam on there uh, is to keep, make her float. Yeah. Keep it off the bottom. You're fishing this with a heavy sink, full sink, or a sink tip, typically a full sink, eh, Dave? Yeah, typically a full sink. I, I like to use like a Type 6. I hate to say it, Dave, I've never used a booby fly in my yeah, life. Yeah. But I mean, all my buddies, they all use them. I've yeah, I got turned on to them a few years ago. And uh, One of your buddies, another local guide or something, turn you on? Um, I read about them in a magazine and I thought they looked ridiculous. Uh, and then, yeah, I saw someone <laughs> fishing them and doing quite well on them, so yeah. I started playing with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> first you're like, what the Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, playing with boobies. You yeah. can definitely get lost playing with them. Whoever came up with that name is great. So this is a, an early edition of Friday Night Flies. There'll be a few more to come tonight. I think Ben Davies is in the house tonight. And, of course, our usuals. Uh, I'm not sure if Kara's going to make it tonight. But it should be a good show. should be a really good show. 
This is actually a pretty simple pattern to tie. Super right? simple. Uh, you're tearing through it pretty quick here. So, I mean, you usually use a crystal chenille. But yeah. there Friday Night Flies, I pinned you down and made you use UV chenille because I want to take this with me home tonight and I'm going to get it open. And I'm all about oh, UV. Oh, shit. I don't think so. This cup must be moved. So I'm going to step on it and it's Maybe. going to be a problem. Hey, Paul. Out of the way. Right there. Right there. Paul's his dog, just in case you were wondering. Pardon me? I'm an obedient child. Very obedient. Yeah. yeah, there it is. Come on. Come on. Get that out of the way. Just shove him behind the fridge there. there. I'll, uh, I'll make it work. So, yeah, basically just wrap it forward. Rip finish. Do you put a little bit of head cement usually on those flies? Or? Yeah, it couldn't hurt. This keeps the whip finish from unwinding after a couple of fish. Oh, jeez. Buggered it up. There we go. I think I've got a little chunk of head cement there. There's a broad kick. Oh, shit. I'd like to keep that over there. Yeah. And a little. Here's your head cement if you want to give it a dab. Now let's get this guy trimmed here. There's your looking pretty. The head cement is head cemented. There you go. Here, where's that knife? And you can give that a shot of the good stuff. There we go. There you go. There's a buck in there. A little dab of head cement just to lock her down. Put a good dab right in the eye of your fly. <laughs> Man, there you go. That was quick. Painless. Yes. Done. Okay, we're going to go back up to the top here. Oh, look at that. Roller again one more time. Nice one and more. slow. There, oh, look at that. You get a 3D <laughs> view of a booby. Okay? There nice it is. stuff. Okay, we're going to go back up to the top fly, top camera. There you are. Looking good, buddy. Anyhow, we're going to sign out here. Booby. The booby. <laughs> Friday Night Flies, coming to you live. <laughs> about, uh, Club yeah, Alex Wiggins, yeah, 1381 Street, where we get all our fly missions and flies. Dave Keller. <laughs> Once again, you might as well give a shout out. The Sturgeon Guru, Dave Keller. From backcountryfishingtours.com. Dot com. Check it out. He's got a great website. You want to go sturgeon fishing? He's your man. All right.